Uh, we're guys with rides, and today we're going to teach you how to downshift. So what is downshifting? Well, it's a more advanced technique than simply upshifting, so if you haven't watched our last video on the basics of driving stick, we highly recommend that you head on over there and watch that. However, if you're all learnt by now, and getting that clutch out is second nature, keep on watching. Downshifting is an incredibly important part of driving stick because it allows you to do a variety of different things. It allows you to slow down. Speed up. And it just makes the most amazing sound. It truly is where the sport aspect of manual transmission comes into play. Sure, upshifting is fun, but downshifting is a whole new experience. The basic maneuver of downshifting is fairly simple, and it's the exact opposite of upshifting. When you push the clutch in, give the gas a small tap instead of pulling your foot off of it. This will kick the RPMs up and rev match the smaller gear you shifted into. What is rev matching, you ask? Well, if you've ever seen another How to Drive Stick tutorial, You'll notice that they mention rev matching a whole lot. Well, to understand this concept, you first have to understand the basic idea of gearing. The gears in transmission increase in size from 1 to 6, with 1st having the least power and 6 having the most. While the higher gears have more power, the lower gears have more torque, which is what you use when accelerating. Each gear does a certain amount of RPMs at a certain speed. In this car, the second gear does 2500 RPMs at 30 miles per hour, while third gear does 1800. So rev matching is literally exactly what it sounds like. You're matching the RPMs between gears, so each gear you shift into has the respective amount of RPMs it needs to do that speed. While upshifting has the RPMs fall every time you shift, downshifting spikes the RPMs up. This is an example of downshifting. Notice as we go from third to second, the RPMs spike upwards as we match the RPMs from the lower speed third gear to the faster turning second gear. It's much easier to do this on a car with a loud exhaust so you can hear the RPMs. On a quieter car with more diminutive exhaust system, one has to rely almost entirely on the tack to determine their RPMs. This Camaro is easier because every downshift sounds like Godzilla giving birth. So this is all well and good, but when should you downshift? Typically when one needs more torque than a higher gear would offer, like in the instance of passing someone on the highway or accelerating hard after a turn. Additionally, downshifting can be used to slow the car down without the brakes. On a large decline, for example, downshifting can help maintain a proper speed while keeping your brakes from overheating. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. If there's anything else you'd like us to get to, comment below and we'll get to it. Thanks, YouTube.